Namaste and welcome to another episode of Om Cuisine, Authentic Universal Meditative. This is Vaikya Priyanka and here with a very exciting, beautiful, lovely episode of one of my favorite dishes in the whole world. It's called the BFF Salad. I know all the teenagers and the little kids below are going like, oh, that's my best friend forever salad. But it's actually called the best friend fruit salad. It's the kind of fruit salad you would want to share with anybody you consider to be your best friend. Be it your mom, your brother, perhaps your real best friend forever, or perhaps just yourself. It's so fabulous, it's delightful, it's colorful, and it definitely will put you in a mood which is more glorious from when you actually started having the salad. So, there is a theme to this, and I'm sure you're wondering, what are tomatoes doing here? Well, a tomato is actually considered a fruit. But remember that knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit. But wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. So, we'll give it away. All right, so we're going to be putting in some Pink Lady apples in the bowl I have here. I always put in the apple first, but I cut it the last because I don't want it to be oxidized, right? And then I put in some plums. It's summer and we're in California, so it's going to be all delightful. And then I'm going to put in some apricots. And then I'm going to put in some peaches. Now I, I call them the holy trinity. I think plums, peaches and apricots are just absolutely delightful. You take a little whisk and I love the vitamin C from all of those fruits to combine with the apple so that the apple's color integrity is maintained. Then we're going to be putting in the mango. I know everybody's like, mm, finally. She puts some mango in her food. Well, it's not like I hate mango or anything. It's just that it's not good for everybody. It's good for most people. You need to see, I mean, look at that. It's so colorful, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. So I'm not gonna put in these guys, the blackberries and the raspberries as yet, okay? So we're gonna make a lovely dressing. So for the dressing, you take in the drill machine and put in like three little chunks of ginger. And then I'm going to put in about a heaped teaspoon of coconut oil, a few leaves of basil, which is fabulous to make sure that all good intentions are taken care of and all words are valued if you add mint. So it's good to put both of those things. I'm going to put in a couple of pinches of cardamom. And then I'm going to make the dressing with some almond milk. So pour in just enough almond milk. And I'm going to be putting in one heaped scoop of the core powder. So you've got all those ingredients, very easy to do. That looks delightful. Mm. Mm. If anybody just gave me that, I'll listen to anything that they have to tell me. So it's one of those things. So then we have some edible flowers. Some marigold in there, different types of mums. It's got a lot of F words, right? It has fruit and flowers. No, just kidding. Nice F words. And then we put in some Manuka honey. So what I'm gonna do though, is take the back of my spoon and drizzle the Manuka honey like so. Just take that in, it has a lot of active enzymes and just drizzle it round and round. And then what we will do now is add the raspberries, add the blackberries, and take your whisk in and just allow it to all meet with each other. The reason I don't put the berries in first is because they can get smushed real fast. 
Okay, that's like a little pet playing with a whisk. So then I'm going to put in the juice of a little bit of stamens of saffron, which I put ahead of time with a little bit of hot water. And then if you're having company over, you can put it into a really nice dish like that. Take some more almond milk, add it in. But I'm going to do those to keep all this away so I can show you guys. So just do this. And you don't want all of the essence of the saffron to go away. So you just put a little bit into that. And rinse it all up, pour it through. And pour this through as well. Normally I like to chill this for about 10 minutes in the refrigerator and then I'm going to serve it up. I'll be right back. We're about to plate now. So I take a bowl, put in my mixed BFF salad in there. See when it comes to putting in mint as a garnish at the end, I wait until I'm really ready to serve so that I'm able to really cut them real fresh so that it releases all those oils. And not only that, it creates this fantastic visual integrity. And then a little bit of the core powder on top, just like a little sprinkle. Have the monk fruit as well. And remember this is quadrangularis. So I cannot wait to try this. So I think that looks so good. You know, it's such an explosion of flavor. It's as if summer kissed all of the leftover troubles of spring away and only left bliss in your soul. That's how delightful it is. I wish you can share a bowl with your best friend. And this recipe is dedicated to all my best friends all over the world. And two of my very special ones. This is for you. I'll make it real soon, okay? See you soon, guys.